Properly citing materials in music is critical to your scholarship. After completing this tutorial, you will be able to recognize the anatomy or the distinct parts of a citation for music sources. You will be able to apply some expert tips for creating accurate citations, understand the importance of citing sources, and recognize when to cite something and where to look for citations and sources. What are citations? Take a look at these two examples. Can you tell which is a citation? That's right, example A is the citation. Example B is merely an informal note a student might make when researching a topic. Citations are more than just notes about sources you find. They tell the reader, in a very specific way, where you got ideas and information from. Citations allow readers to retrace your research steps and get to the sources you used. Citations are a critical part of the research process. What do they look like? Citations can look different depending on what style is used to create them, but they usually contain similar information. Some popular styles include MLA, APA, and Chicago. In the discipline of music, we use Chicago style. Here are footnote and bibliography examples of a book citation using Chicago style. Notice the indent in the footnote style and a paragraph adjustment in the bibliography style. Both start with author, then the title of the book, followed by place of publication, publisher name, and year of publication. The footnote style needs a page number for the information you are using, while the bibliography style does not. Here are footnote and bibliography examples of a journal article using Chicago style. Notice the indents paragraph adjustments are the same as they were for the book citations. Citations start with the name of the author or authors, followed by the article title in quotations, the journal title in italics, and then specific information about where to find the article in the journal, volume and issue numbers, date of publication, page or page numbers, and a permanent or stable URL the reader can use to access the article. For this, look for something called stable URL or DOI. The advantage to this is it omits school information and leads any viewer to an information page on the source. If you can't find this type of URL, it's okay to leave it out of your citation. Why are citations important? Citations are important because they demonstrate the scope of our research and the path we took to get there. Think of citations like a trail. Other scholars can follow the research trail to find the sources you use. They might even use the same sources in their own research. Since the reader can follow your research trail, they can trust what you write. Citations are how you join the conversation. When you share your ideas and research in a paper or assignment, you are entering a scholarly conversation. For your work to be accepted, you need to cite your sources. Citing sources demonstrates academic integrity, meaning we give credit to others. Taking someone else's work or ideas and passing them off as your own is called plagiarism. It can result in failure or even expulsion. Avoid plagiarism by citing your sources. Specific to music, citations are important because they tell your readers which version of a score or recording you're referring to, and give them the often complicated information they need to find it. Imagine you are referencing the song Stormy Weather, which version of the song, though? Here are just a few versions. It's important for your readers to know which one you are referencing. When should you cite something? When in doubt, cite. However, as a rule, always cite direct quotes, paraphrases, musical examples, pictures, charts, and graphs. You don't always need to cite widely known facts in your field. For example, composer birth and death dates. But always ask your instructor if you're not sure. Where are citations used? Citations can be found right in the text of a book, article, or other source. They can also be found in footnotes or endnotes. Look for the small numbers at the end of sentences in a book, article, or other source. These lead to the citation listed elsewhere. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. You are now able to recognize the anatomy or the distinct parts of a citation, apply some expert tips for creating accurate citations, understand the importance of citing sources, and finally recognize when to cite something and where to look for citations. And remember, if you have any questions, ask a librarian.